This is the Silverback Stratos AL. Now, Silverback Bikes is relatively new to Australian shores, so we'll forgive you if you're not familiar with the name. The company has been based out of Germany since 2010, however, and the combination of sharp pricing and local distribution via the 99 Bikes retailer network means that Silverback is a relatively accessible brand for a lot of Aussie riders. That said, we really had little idea of what to expect when the Stratos AL turned up for testing. The Silverback Stratos AL is a full suspension mountain bike that's designed for XC and light duty trail riding. It rolls on 29 inch wheels and it features 130mm travel fork and 105mm of rear travel. The frame is made out of hydroformed and welded 6061 alloy tubing. Out back we've got a four bar suspension design with a compression molded composite rocker link. Seal bearings are used at each pivot point with the seat stay pivots using dual row bearings for added stiffness and durability. The Stratos AL has some good looking geometry for a modern XC bike. We've got a 66 degree head angle, a 75 degree effective seat tube angle, a 445 millimeter reach on our medium sized test bike and a 435 mil rear center. There are three models in the Silverback Stratos AL lineup with prices starting at a bit over three grand for the entry level model. Our test bike features the top end spec. This is the Stratos AL Pro and the current retail price on this is 4,299 Australian dollars. It features a Mizuki Bomber Z2 fork and a RockShox Deluxe shock. We've got a SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain and Shimano MT 200 brakes. The cockpit comes from Silverback's in-house component brand Surface, which includes a 150mm travel dropper post. And we've got 2.35 inch Maxxis tyres with a forecaster on the front and a recon race on the rear. Confirmed weight for our Silverback Stratos AL Pro test bike was 15.4 kilos and as usual that's without pedals and with the tyres set up tubeless. Now that's significantly heavier than the 14.1 kilo claimed weight and it's very much on the porky side for a short travel Dually. On the trail, however, the Stratus AL has proven to be a surprisingly speedy and fun bike to ride. With the longer travel fork, we expected it to feel a bit high and wishy-washy on the front end, but that wasn't the case. It's agile and well-balanced, and it doesn't need tractoring into tight corners, as can be the case with a longer travel bike. The rear suspension also works well, delivering great traction while eating up rocky terrain. We also like that the position of the shock means it's easy to reach down to flip the lockout lever. We haven't needed to use it that much though since the suspension is already quite efficient. And along with the lightweight and fast rolling tyres, the Stratos AL gets up to speed quickly and easily. Now a couple of kilos off the overall weight would no doubt improve its climbing performance. It certainly isn't light and there's a fair bit of mass in the front end making it a bit harder to pop up the front wheel. That said, you'd never guess this bike was 15 and a half kilos when you first ride it. And it's likely that a person who's coming off a hardtail onto their first full suspension bike is probably coming off something that's a similar weight already. Considering its retail price, we reckon the Stratos AL Pro is okay value for money. There's a lot of competition in this price bracket and we've listed a number of the rival bikes in the full review over at flowmountainbike.com. In there you'll also find a detailed comparison with the Marin Rift Zone, so if you're keen to check it out just click the link in the video description below. As for the parts package, the biggest letdown was the Mizuki Bomber Z2, which has never felt wonderful. Even at lower pressure, it's still kind of stiction-y. It's fine on smoother flow trails, but it gets choppy when you're riding over rocky terrain. And while we didn't have any issues with the Shimano MT200 brakes, it's worth noting that heavier riders might find them to be a little bit on the soft side. Changing the pads to a metallic compound and upgrading the rotors to suit would no doubt provide more bite. Otherwise, everything else has worked fine, including the SX Eagle drivetrain and the budget dropper post. The wheels have been sturdy and the fast rolling Maxxis tires have been a great match for our local Rocky XC trails. Indeed, given we didn't know what to expect, we've been pleasantly surprised by the Stratos AL. The efficient suspension and the fast rolling tires give it a great turn of speed across undulating terrain, despite its relatively hefty weight. It does feel very sturdy though, and the excellent geometry gives it great balance, especially through the corners. The fork has been 
seen the main letdown in terms of performance, and we've not been blown away by the overall value for money. That said, many bikes in this price bracket are typically geared towards more aggressive trail riding, and that's not always going to suit the rider who's making the leap from a hardtail to their first full suspension bike. The Stratos AL Pro fills that niche as a speedy XC bike that doesn't require you to shell out a whole load of cash. Now, if you've got any questions for us about this bike, make sure you drop those into the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Tooroo!